What's up, Zombie Slayers? This is kj 4 a and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die single-player Let's Play. Uh, this is episode 21, and we are on day 18. We are up in our forward operating base of the Hub City. I went ahead and cleared out any of these uh, little icons on the map that weren't useful. Like, um, I've got a drop-off chest right here, but it's empty, so I just took it off the map. And uh, I also took the... I also, um... X'd out stuff that has already been looted. Uh, this place has completely been looted, so is this place. So have these two places. And um, I have been looting way too much. Uh, it really hurts not having the um, the steel book. It really does. But with that being said, I think it's time we move on and start building. I've got some ideas on things I want to build. Um, it's going to be a little different than what I've been talking about, but kind of the same. We're going to build at the same place. Uh, you know, the main thing was me getting the concrete book because... The thing is, the concrete is go is the builder the building material of choice in this game. Um, if you have it, you got to build with it. It's so easy. It's I think it's broken, honestly. Oh, this is supposed to signify that this place has been looted completely. Has it? Yeah, it has been. Okay, well, let's move on down. Um, yeah. So like I was saying, I uh, I think the concrete thing is almost broken. Uh, I don't know. It, if it, if it stays like it stays, then I'm cool with that. But uh, concrete is really the way to go. <clears throat> Uh, it only, I've been like, you know, talking to people on, uh, their streams and doing some research and, you know, um, I go to a bunch of streams like Bad Buck and, uh, some other people and, um, you know, we've been talking and, uh, basically what you want to do is you want to make brick. Uh, brick will take four clay, I think, per brick is what we figured. Um, and at that point you place down the brick and then you upgrade it. And, and from what I, unless I'm, is this open even though? Okay. I didn't know if this would open because I figured boards would keep even an open door from opening, but these still open, so um, I didn't miss that open door thing. I just I didn't think that would be the way it worked. Anyway, um, yeah. So what I'm looking at here is uh, you you need ten concrete to uh, upgrade from brick to concrete, and then another ten concrete to upgrade from concrete to reinforced concrete, and that is it. And uh, man, that is. That is pretty pretty intense, pretty intense. Um, so we're gonna be building with that. The the entire house I'm gonna be building out of is made out of brick. So all I have to do is upgrade it, um, and then I'll make brick for outer walls. I'm gonna actually, uh, if you guys were watching last season, remember I was talking about I wanted to do that like um, those extra outer walls that I could add onto as many times as I want. I'm gonna go back to that. I'm gonna go back to that, and uh, I'm gonna leave four spaces in between each wall, and each wall uh, is gonna have two big spikes um, on the side of the wall that my base is on and two little spikes on the on the other two sides uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a pain to repair but I think with um, I think with I think using uh, these uh, these frames wood frames I think I could I think I could repair it um, pretty easily uh, so yeah we've got oh that's a nice it's a nice coat right there um, yeah so we've got a lot of work to do and I've been looting so much but the thing is guys like this game is 90% looting now. Um, I kind of feel like... Uh, I don't think the fun pimps are trying to push us into a nomadic lifestyle. But I kind of feel like building a base is... I don't know how... how I don't know how necessary it is. Just just stay in prefabs. Run around. I mean, honestly... Honestly, if you were going to play this game completely... Um, uh, what's what I'm looking for? Like... Uh, if you're going to take the path, the path of least resistance, what you're going to do is you're not going to worry about any day except for the seven-day hordes. And on seven-day hordes, you're going to grab all your coffee and all your stamina regeneration things. You're going to wait for the horde to come. Once the horde gets gets targeted on your base, you run away. And, I mean, I kind of have a feeling that the horde's not going to chase you. And it's going to keep attacking your base or possibly despawn all the, all the, all the way. And even if, the, even if the horde does chase you, as long as you have enough stamina regeneration items... To get through the night, you're better off just running away. The amount of time you have to put in to build a base, uh, just to have it torn down, is it's a lot. I mean, I have not built anything out of wood or some of the other um, things in the game because I've read I read on the forums, I've read in I've read in um, in streams uh, that the, the the zombies chew through most most blocks now. Uh, wood is a joke. Like, I mean, again, I've not done this myself, so take this with a grain of salt, but I've been told and I've read many, many places that wood just gets chewed up like it's not even there, so it's pointless. Okay, so wood is pointless. Um, I, I've heard that the concrete, uh, the, um, the cobblestone is actually, get, gets eaten up pretty easily. Uh, you know, so like, honestly, it's, it seems to be reinforced concrete or go home. Uh, 
Someone on one of my videos uh, yesterday was telling me about how he built the he built the base out of um, out of uh, iron, like the um, what's it called, scrap iron walls. And I guess you could do that, but I mean iron's I mean iron's pretty easy to get, but it's not that easy to get. Those scrap iron walls are hella expensive. Plus, you need that scrap iron to upgrade your spikes. Oh, here we go. I don't think I need either of those. Um, I don't need them nine mil. And I'm almost positive I don't need the exploding. Nine mil. That's not grayed out. So I can make that. All right, you guys are seeing this. This is proof. Because it, it always makes me paranoid when I scrap this stuff. I'm like, I don't know. All right, and explosive. And that, again, is not grayed out. Just in case. Just in case. I'm just paranoid. Um, I also think I might have enough. I think I have enough. I might have enough materials for the um, for the mini bike, which would be insane if I do. I mean, if I don't, I'm, I, I'm close to it. So um, that's another reason I want to go home because I want to. I want to start making the mini bike. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go home. I've been looting. I've been looting a lot, but like I said, uh, you have to loot a lot, guys. There, think about this. Let's let's just go, let's just go with the shotgun for a second. Okay, the shotgun is locked behind four to five. Uh, um, gates. You need the shotgun parts. Let's take the shotgun parts out of it. Okay, let's forget about the shotgun parts because you can't get any item without getting the actual item. But the shotgun parts does have four items you have to get to put it together. I'll give you that. Let's not even put that as a gate. Let's say you get the shotgun. Now you need a book to put together the shotgun. Okay. Now you need a book to. You need you need the ammunition nation book. Um, I've been calling it ammunition. I don't know why. But I've been calling it Ammunition forever. It's not the Ammun Ammun Ammunition book. It's the Ammunition Nation book. I'll try and remember that, guys. Some people pointed that out, and they're they're right about it. I just got to try and remember it. Anyway, um, you need the Ammunition Nation book to make the buckshot for the for the shotgun shells. So you need the book to put together the shotgun, and you need you, you already need one book to put together the shells. Well, that's it, right? No, you also need a schematic to to, to make the shells themselves. You need you need the ammunition ammunition nation book. I'm gonna keep saying that just so I get into the habit of saying it. You need the ammunition nation book. Um, by the way, why am I carrying around a glass pane? I don't know. You need the ammunition nation book to make the buckshot for the shells. Then you need. <laughs> that's gonna make me laugh every time. By the way, um. And then you need the uh, the actual uh, schematic to make the shotgun shells themselves. So that's three gates right there. Oh, and then you need uh, the caliper thingies. Um, I think they're the caliper thingies. I don't know that for sure, but I'm almost positive you need the calipers to make the uh, buckshot as well. So you have, just for the shotgun, not including the four separate parts, you need for the shotgun, you have four gates. Four gates. And, and there's a lot of things like that in the game, guys. There's a lot. So... And honestly, it doesn't. It's not that bad. You can see right here. I'm on what episode 21, and I've almost got everything. Uh, you know, day 19, I've almost got everything. It's not that bad. It's just you're gonna see a lot of looting. I had some people complaining. Um, I've been looting too much, and I kind of agree. I want to build. You know, I'm kind of sick of looting. Like I want to loot, but damn, man, this has been like 19 days of looting, pretty much. Um, so that's a problem. Uh, you know, so. I do like looting, but it's 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 a little too much. And Mad Mole himself has said that they're gonna they're gonna start skewing some of those books into perks. So instead of like needing a book, you'll have perks for certain things, which is really really cool. So you know we're playing an alpha. The game's gonna evolve. But um, I just wanted you guys to know why I wasn't building as much as I'd like to. It's not my choice. It's just the way the game is right now. Um, so yeah, but we're gonna get to building. I'm gonna go back to the other base. Um, I'm gonna start building. I've got I've got a whole build roughly in my mind i don't know if it's gonna work it might work it might not i don't know we're gonna find out together um i just don't like the way the hordes are like i was watching <coughs> i was watching my buddy bad buck play he's a really good player by the way he plays on like max difficulties really really good player but like he doesn't want to shoot zombie oh, yeah, actually he can't shoot zombies because he can't keep enough ammo because since he plays on the hardest difficulty the zombies take a lot of hits um so he runs out of sh he runs out of bullets you know he, he just he, he, he kind of doesn't have enough bullets and he doesn't want to do it. So, like, a lot of times, like, he's he's putting down, like... I mean, he's putting down uh, spikes around his building that are, like, 10, 10 rows deep. That's insane. That's insane. And I know this stuff's all going to change. I'm, I'm pretty sure the Fun Pimps did not... Does, do not want us to be putting down 10 rows of spikes around our house. And I'm not, I'm not being, like... I'm not, like, uh, over-exaggerating either. I'm talking 10 rows, man. That's what people are saying you, you need. Um... Uh, 
So, you know, I know it's going to change. I know that I know the fun people don't want us to put in that many spikes. But as of right now, it's just, um, it's, uh, you know, it, the game is what it is, guys. And uh, we're just going to have to wait for Alpha 14 for the stuff to get uh, maybe, you know, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say patched out. I would say, like, um, I would say uh, uh, balanced. So, all right, I'm going to grab all my stuff that I'm going to need to go back to the uh, main base. And uh, I'm going to pause the video here and I will see you guys back at the main base. Okay, guys, I'm back, and yeah, the day's gone. <laughs> oh my goodness! I ran back home, but before I ran back home, I was thinking about the um, the mini bike and the fact that I'm gonna need a lot of gas. So I was kind of looking around here, and I know I had a gas station right here, uh, right here. So I know what the um, I know what the gas station looks like, and then I looked all around here. I don't think there's another gas station in this whole hub city. Um, so I did kind of look around for a little bit, but not too long. Um, I did, I did go to this gas station though, picked up all the oil barrels I could, and then I came all the way home, and I went, I looked around here a little bit, and then I came back to my base, and check it out though, uh, gas, check out how much gas you get, not glass, gas, check out how much gas you get from these things, you get 600 gas per oil barrel, so yeah, so I've got 3,000 gas now, man, like gas is not that hard to get anymore. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and put that up here. I've, I've organized all my items for the mini bike. The handlebars are the only weak part of the mini bike. But guess what? I can freaking make the handlebars. Right? So sweet. So we need leather. Leather. Sh uh, what, what, is, what is this under, though? What kind of... um? I don't know what crafting skill that's under. Um, well, let's make some now. Let's make some now. Um, let's see what we got here. I have no idea what crafting skill this is. Oh my goodness, what crafting skill is that? Uh, durability, miscellaneous crafting, okay, that's why. Well, thank God. Man, that's, psh, that's giving me one heck of a mini bike for day 19. When, when did I get my mini bike last season? Like day 60 or something? I don't even know. It was a long time. All right, so let me show you what I've been doing over here. We are going to start working on cement. So what you need to do for cement is you need to cook stone into the... Um, by the way, I, I put my tool, tool and die set in here. I already have a caliper. Um, there's still a caliper in the hub city, but I didn't, I didn't want to bring it here because, I don't know, it would, I just didn't have the room. So right now, um, I'm cooking the stone into here, and then you basically make cement into the stone. Alright, um, over here I'm cooking the glass into this thing, and I'm also making glass jars. As a matter of fact, let's make some more. There we go. There's a bug that if you make glass panes, it takes like uh, ten glass to make a glass pane. But when you put when you cook the glass pane back into the forge, um, you get a hundred back. If I really needed it, I would use it, but I don't need it, so I'm not going to use it. It's definitely a bug. Um, over here, I turned all my uh, I turned all my uh, bones. Actually, not all my bones. I didn't have enough. I didn't have enough uh, water. That's probably why. Um, I turned a bunch of my bones into into um glue like you guys told me to uh so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that glue and we're gonna come over here and grab some cloth and we are going to make duct tape so there we go we're gonna make some duct tape um we also want to keep these forges on pretty much at all times um this needs to stay on for quite a lot quite a while longer 15 minutes will be good for now this one's got to stay on for a long time um, well, you know, it's cooking the stone pretty quick let's just drop a couple more in there and you, I already turned off. Um, you're pretty good. I don't know if there's anything else. Screamer. Shit, gotta get out there. Gotta get out there. Gotta kill her. Dog. Alright, hold on a sec. Let's wait until this dog stops freaking out. Yep, she called in a horde. All right. So basically, the way the screamer works is, um, if you get, if you like, she doesn't see you, um, she won't like call in the horde. I don't know how true that is. Um, the old screamers like they would call in the horde if they saw any. Oh boy, hold on. They spawned around me. The old screamers they would spawn the horde if they saw any, any um. 
any like sign of your activity. Uh, but apparently these screamers, a lot of people are saying they have to see you. I don't know. She just pisses me off, so I just go and kill her. Oh my goodness. I'd like to get some uh, hide out of these guys. They don't give you a, they don't give you a lot, but they give you something. We might just have to go in and let these guys uh, chew on the house. Because they're going to start running soon. I might be a little quiet because I got to do a lot of killing, guys. So bear with me. Dog. Another screamer. I am not going to be looting the zombies because that's not what this is about. <laughs> I really should have some spikes around my house. I, you know, I really, really should have some spikes around my house. Oh. Oh my goodness. No. Don't miss, Cage. Oh, in your face, mutt. I'm gonna go for the groin shot. Groin shot! Nah, he's already getting up. Damn it! These guys are really hard for me. Ooh. Alright, you know what? Focus! There we go. Usually if I focus, I do a lot better. I do want to loot the uh, nurses. Anything else? Let's go into some melee. Oh, don't hurt my leg. Man, they are all in my house. See, I think they spawned in my house, and that's kind of BS. They should never spawn in a house that you're living in. Get out of my house! Yeah, I don't think they're gonna stop. Like, spawning. I should probably just leave and go stay in my my uh, my seven day shelter because I can't have them tearing down my house. This is where all my stuff is. They tear down the house, I'm gonna be in a, I'm gonna be in a world of hurt. The bitches. I'm not gonna loot him because honestly I don't have a lot of I don't have a lot of room, but I really should be looting them. Alright. You're dead. Well at least we're seeing some zombies, guys. It's pretty cool. Um, I do want that. Anything else? Uh, nah, it's fine. Look at this. We fought them off. Well, most of them. Look at that. We fought them off. We gotta repair this house. Um, we're gonna be doing some, uh... We're going to be doing some repairing on this house tomorrow. I don't... We're not going to be ready for the... Our house is... Our, our building over there is not going to be ready for the 21-day horde. I can, I can guarantee it. I might not even stay there. I might stay somewhere arbitrary. Just because I'm not going to be ready. But we did we did defend there, so that was pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and... Eat and drink. Let's take... Oh my god, my... my I'm just having a real problem with... Uh, with inventory management in this game more than anything. Um, let's go ahead and drink first. 
Um, where is my drink? I must have left it back at the other house. Nope, here's some. Did I explain everything I wanted to do tonight? Uh, no, actually I didn't. Okay, so in order to make the um, in order to make the cement, you need stone cooked in here. I did tell you that. All right, so you see we're getting cement, and then what you do is you take the cement. Let's um, let's move the duct tape over there. Move that in there. There we go. It's pretty good. Okay, so what we do with the cement is we take the cement out of here. And then you go ahead and mix the cement. You mix the cement with the gravel and you make yourself concrete. Now, 27 concrete is almost nothing. That's like one block upgrade, pretty much. But, we're gonna need a lot of stone. We're gonna have to mine. You know, if I even thought about it, I would've went to the mine tonight. I totally didn't think about it. This is where not having the steel this is where not having the steel the steel pickaxe is a problem. Um, because the mining is going to be really difficult. We need more forges. Honestly, we need more forges here. Okay. So anyway, uh, you can see how we're getting the uh, the cement and the concrete and all that good stuff. Um, we're cooking stone into that. Let's just go ahead and cook the rest of the stone into here. We'll cook half into there, half into there. Let that cook. This is going pretty good. Like 12 more minutes. What about you? How's this going? This is going pretty good. Let's make some more jars. The cool thing is now that I have the um now that I have the uh, I have the uh the ability to make the um the mini bike, I can get back to the hub city much easier. That's gonna make things a lot lot easier for me. I'm very happy about that. We should probably make some more crossbow bolts. I think I've shown you guys about everything that I need to show you. I'm just going to go ahead and do some inventory management, get myself ready for tomorrow, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, we're back. Whoops. I didn't realize I was that close. All right. So, actually, I went out and I, um, I dealt with my farm, and then I came back to the base, and I was looking at gunsmithing. Now... Um, I was debating if I wanted to repair my pistol or not, and I went ahead and repaired my pistol. Um, it almost repaired it to full, but uh, it only cost one gun repair kit, and this thing was about halfway down. So the gun repair kits um, seem to be much more effective. The problem is the pistol dropped in quality. Now, here's the issue I have. Um, I also repaired my pickaxe, and I can make pickaxes that are above 101 quality. So, why are my items dropping, and I know this is part of the game, but I don't think it should be. I feel like your items should not drop in quality below your skill level of that item. Like, it basically, if I can make pickaxes that are 125 in quality, then as I repair them, they shouldn't go below that 125. Um, now, with pickaxes and stuff, it's not really that big of a deal. But with the guns, there's only so many guns in the game, and if they're going to drop in quality every time we repair them, we're eventually going to run out of guns. Yeah, it'll take a while, but, I mean, I don't know, man. That, that has me a little nervous, but... Let me know how you guys handle guns in the uh, in the comments. Do you guys find yourself running out of guns? Do you find yourself repairing them re repeatedly um, just to, you know, run out of guns? Like, uh, how do you guys how do you guys handle that? Because um, I'm kind of concerned about it a little bit. But we are... I made some woodlog spikes. We are going to go with woodlog spikes here for a while. Um, I do need some more of this stuff. Scrap iron. Now, I've been I've been uh, told that if you if you use iron and turn it into scrap iron, um, you don't lose anything for it. If I was to take this iron fragments and scrap it down into uh, scrap iron, um, what would happen would be is I would lose I would lose 25% of that scrap iron I should be getting. But if you put them in here and then you craft it into scrap iron, you get 100%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how much scrap I can get, 260. Yeah, I'm going to need it all to upgrade the uh, spikes. So we're just going to get all that, and we're going to dump some more iron in here. I'm going to have to end this night at my, at my, um, uh, what do you call it? Oh, hold on one sec. I'm going to have to end this night in the cave because I got to do some, I got to do a lot of mining during the night. But uh, right now we're going to actually start, uh, you know, fortifying the um, cages keep, the, uh, the seven day stronghold. Oh boy, freaking stupid timer. 
Well, what we're going to do next video <laughs> is we're going to start uh, fortifying Key Just Keep, um, the, the seven day stronghold. And there's a lot of things in Key Just Keep I kind of want torn apart. Um, there's spikes in the way. There's walls that, well, actually, no, I don't want the walls torn down now that I think about it. Because then I'll just have to put bricks back, back up. I'm debating on whether I want to stay in Key Just Keep uh, for the 21 day horde. It's not going to be ready. So, do I really want the zombies tearing it apart? Um,. Yeah, I kind of do. Because I want to put these big spikes. I want to put these big spikes against the wall. The consensus of what people keep are telling me now is that these big spikes are best placed against the wall with small spikes behind them. And I kind of can... I could see that. I could see that. And I think they're totally right. Um, so, yeah, we will stay here. We will stay here for the 21-day horde. I'm telling you, though, this, uh, this wall is not ready for the 21-day horde. Um... It's going to get torn up pretty bad. I just have to hope the uh, the building doesn't collapse. But anyway, um, my timer went off, so we're going to have to call this one here. We will work on this. Uh, we're just going to spike the crap out of this place uh, for the 21-day horde. And uh, we'll have guns and stuff. We'll work on some sniper rifle ammo and some uh, shotgun ammo. Well, actually, shotgun ammo won't help because we're going to be too far up. But we will work on some sniper rifle ammo uh, for that horde. But we got to call this one here. That's going to be it for episode 21. We'll see you next time for episode 22. Till then, take it easy.